Hello crafters, it's June again and today I'm going to show you how I made this type of fun fold card. It's so cute. You lift that up and pull that down and that's all there is to it. I really, I really like it. So with making this one in blue, I'm going to do the next one in pink and I'm not going to um, decorate the front quite the same as this one. So let's get started. We need a piece of cardstock. This is your base card. That measures four and a quarter inches by 11. And then we need to score on the long side at three inches. Now if you do have a stamping up paper trimmer, you'd get, let me take this out, there's two, um, sorry, the darker one is the cutting blade and the lighter one is the scoring blade. It's not a blade, it's a scoring tool. So just make sure you use the right one when you're scoring. So on the long side, our first score line will be at three inches and the next one at seven. And that's that. Burnish your score lines. I want a crisp, nice fold. And on the three inch, um, part of the card. This is where we're going to put our paper and I'm using the papers um, from the subtle range of stamping up. It's all my little bits and pieces. Double sided of course. These are um, six by six inches square. I'll pop these back. And if you're using papers that have leaves growing, going upwards or some font like this is, just make sure you secure that um, on the right way, not upside down, which has happened, I think, to everybody at some time in the past. So we need to adhere that and I can't I can't speak highly enough of this little silicone mat it's fantastic glue like this um, wet glue hot glue will not stick on this mat it's absolutely fantastic. I wished I'd um, purchased that much earlier than I did. So let's get this hopefully centered. I usually need to stand up and look over that to get it centered. But you certainly don't want to see my head. Put some glue there. then if you have a punch just let me fold this again big enough because we're looking at a diameter maybe three and a quarter inches and I don't have one as big as that so I am using dies from creative expressions 
and we want a three and a quarter inch one moment till I retrieve this circular die and then make sure you put this read as near as you can the same distance either side I've got a little bit more on this side a man on a flying horse will not see that and kind of halfway I've gone further down on this one compared to this cord but it still looks fine and die cut it but don't die cut the bottom piece you use you die cutting the top and the middle panel on the shorter side so let me die cut that okay so if we remove carefully remove the tape and then remove that that's just now spare card but that can be used on another card we have this left and this is when that goes up there and this closes over so let's decorate the inside oh I didn't show the in oh yeah I did very quickly so on here I've just stamped happy birthday on here and the two balloons for the circles you would need you want something smaller than the one you've just die cut and this is about two and three quarters the blue is about two and three quarters and the white card two and a half inches now I've already done that just to save some time so we have the two and three quarters and two and a half inches and I've used um, oh, what do they call it the Rococo Rose cardstock which goes with that paper really well and I've stamped it using um, the stamping pad in Rococo Rose the stamp set is called So Much Happy. I love it. I really do. I made two cards. Use and you get a die. Um, there's a die set available as well. So I've um, previously made this card using the birthday and the die for happy. That's a different um, stamp set where I did the flowers. Anyway, enough of that. So, I've used the happy birthday on here. And now I'm going to stamp a couple of balloons. I'm not going to use the string. I'll just draw that in. And... I'm going to put inside because we've got happy birthday. I'm just looking for something here. I don't think I'm there. No. So, bringing the happy birthday to you, I want the to you stamp for the inside of the card. So, let me put these two together and I'm using the stamping seal put that like that if I don't forget I'm going to put some gems on there at the end happy birthday and then this is going on the bottom piece because it's going to pull down 
So we'll go to you. Just this little stamp on that rather vast um, space there. But once we get the balloons on, it'll be fine. So to you, I hope there's no ink on the edge. A little bit lopsided, so we'll go here. Shoot, bear with me. I was convinced I had previously, I have, and if as if by magic to you. And that will fit nicely over there. Um, I used this die from the Taste for Labels die to die cut that and then just cut it on an angle. Thank goodness I found it. It's so frustrating. So let's get that in place now. And see if I can get this on straight. Happy birthday to you. And we will now go to this one again. And I'm going to use that balloon. So ink the stamp and then we'll have it going off the page there and another one round about here and close that And I'm just using my micron pen and we'll just draw some ties, some strings. Just to make it a bit more authentic, if you just put a little mark just there. It's as if it's tied around there and then hanging. So that's that. And then just make sure that ink is dry. Right. thought I'd made this um, the wrong way there. So when that's closed and we have our sentiment, we want to leave a little bit of the white card, but obviously we just, we don't want to go high up on the back. So let's just put a few on there and then add that like so and then I'll get the star stamp I'm sorry my pokey tool is rattling all over Back again. I've 
had to put the camera in a different angle so I do apologize if I keep going out of focus it's so frustrating and let's put on there one there and one there and I will use my chamois to clean the stamps off camera now then I've remembered about the gems they're a totally different shade of pink but we'll go with that pop that in the middle of each star And let's go with one there, yep, these are the, um, what are they called, enamel dots and these are the um, new colours available, they're so pretty. So we have this card that at the moment it can't stand up because there's nothing to hold it. So we need to make a little holder on the back, which is what I did on this card. And you just really have to manoeuvre it to make sure it'll stand upright so if you get a square piece of card just a small piece and then cut it diagonal to give you a triangle and have I got one made? no now I should have used white card but I've cut this for some reason, I was thinking I was going to do this in pink. Oh, I've got some white here. So, we have the triangle, but we need to cut a little bit off the piece that's going to stand or stick on the back of the card. Should I do that that way? Nope. This is going to take longer than making the card. I'm going to, this is far too long. I'm going to bring this down so I've got the pointy part and there's got to be an easier way than this. The pointy part is below the card and then I can trim that off, all being well. So I've got some tape on here. I'll clean that up afterwards so we'll bring that down now the piece that is going to stay adhered to the back does need to be shorter I am crossing everything but I do not make a mistake on camera doing this we will find out very shortly and then trim the bottom I know there's an easier way than this because I've made it um, made some many years ago but I can't remember what I did turn that over so that will lie flat when you put it in the envelope and I found with the other card you need to like pull that in a bit and maybe straighten that no nope. it's 
it's not going to stand. That's frustrating. And why will it not? Are you all shouting at me saying, do this? Or do that? Haha! -ha! Success. So what did I do? I cut, so we cut that, the piece that's adhered, we cut that at an angle upwards. And then this one also, if you see that, I originally cut it straight to the card. That isn't any good. You need to cut that upwards as well. And make a neater job than I did. But there is the card, standing proud. One pink one and one blue one. Thank you for spending some time with me and until the next video, take care and happy crafting. Bye.